welcome to everyone in the Santosha community and those who are new and joining us for the first time. My name is Pat and I teach mindfulness meditation at Santosha Yoga Meditation and Fitness in New Westminster. So today we're going to do a class about 30 minutes in mindfulness meditation and I will be teaching this as we go along. All you need today is a candle if you have one. So take a moment to get a candle, get comfy sitting on the mat or on a cushion, whatever works for you. You might want a bolster to lean up against and find a quiet place where you won't be interrupted. So once you're settled, just again get comfy in a seated position somewhere where you are alert and yet relaxed. And you can move around or readjust your position as you see fit during the practice. So mindfulness meditation is about focusing on the present. Sounds easy, but it's not so easy. If we practice it in times when there's calmness and you're not being triggered in a stressful situation, then you can get better at utilizing those skills when you come up against a tough situation. Right now, in our world with the virus, we are all being challenged. It's difficult sometimes to keep a state of calmness and not go into a state of worry when there's so much media attention and buzz on all the risks that are going on in our world. So it's very easy for our thoughts to run wild and to go into thoughts about the future and worrying about what if this might happen or that might happen. Then the thoughts trigger emotions and fear can come in and get a grip on us. Fear is one emotion that you should not listen to. It's irrational and it doesn't serve us well. So mindfulness meditation is focusing on the present. When we're in the present, the worries about the future cannot coexist. So there's a system where we have an experiential system or network when we're focused on our senses and what's going on with us right now. The other system is our thoughts and emotions where we get lost in daydreaming and our thoughts. Those two systems don't work at the same time. So in order to decrease the thoughts and worries, we need to bring our mind into the present. And our senses are one of our best ways of doing that. As you get in touch with which senses work best for you, then you can focus on those senses to help you ground you in the present. So today, I'd like you just to wiggle into your space and close your eyes if you're comfortable closing your eyes. Otherwise, just look down at the ground in front of you and soften your gaze. So start by taking a moment and just going inward. Don't have to be anywhere or do anything. This time is just for you. So just do a quick scan of how your body's feeling right now. Any aches and pains? Any parts that feel tense that you need to wiggle and relax. Do a quick check in on your emotions. What's the kind of emotional climate in your life today and right now? Take a moment and notice what your thoughts are doing. When we're observing our thoughts, we're in the present. When we're lost in our thoughts, we are no longer in the present. It might be a pleasant state, but it's not mindful. So learning to be an observer of your thoughts in calm times helps you be an observer of your thoughts. And so you have more choice about how you're going to react when you're in a tough situation. So today, just notice your thoughts. Our thoughts come super fast. And we have thoughts while we're having conversations. So just notice the kind of thoughts 
that are going around in your mind right now? Are they thoughts that are planning thoughts? Thoughts about people? Thoughts about worries? Thoughts about particular situations? Just look at different categories of thought right now. And then shift your focus to your breath. Some people find it easy to focus on their breath. It's something that's with us all the time, anywhere, and you can use it to come into the present. Many people though find it hard to sustain focus on your breath. So right now, just focus on your breath without changing it. Notice whether you're breathing into your chest or your diaphragm. Notice how you're aware of your breath. Is it through your chest rising and falling? Is it through the air going in through your nose or mouth? How do you experience breathing? And then take a moment and experience breathing from the inside. As if your whole body is breathing as one. And then shift your focus to slowing down your breath. So when we're breathing, breathe in through your nose, pause and out through your nose. It's more effective to get grounded in the present if you breathe through your nose because without awareness, you're taking in the scent of the room or the space that you're sitting in. So just take some slow breaths in and intentionally slow your breath down. The breath in activates our sympathetic nervous system that wraps us up and gives us energy. Our breath out slows us down. It's the rest and digest process. It activates our parasympathetic nervous system. It's calming and relaxing. So with the next breath, breathe in through your nose, pause and breathe out really, really slowly through your nose. Take another breath in deep into your diaphragm, pause for a second and then breathe out through your nose slowly, slowly, slowly. And just take a couple of breaths on your own and feel your body settle in to your space. And with every breath out, let your body relax. Then take a moment, quickly check in with your mind again, be that observer. Notice what you're thinking about. Don't criticize yourself for your mind wandering whenever it does, because it will. That's what minds do. Just bring it back to your breath. So in this stressful time in the world around us, we want to help quiet our minds. And we can do this by being in the present. So with your eyes closed and taking your breaths in and breaths out, with every breath in, start to notice the scent in the room around you. It's your sense of smell, let your sense of smell pick up any scent at all. Some people have a strong sense of smell and can identify more than one scent. Other people have a difficult time with their sense of smell and if you have allergies or things like that it could be extra hard for the stomach. And then I'd like you to shift your focus to your auditory sense. I'd like you to pay attention now to any sound that you can hear other than my voice. 
you hear any sounds up close, maybe your own breathing. What about far away? Can you hear anything outside? Within your room, in your house or apartment? Just notice everything that you can hear. And I'd like you to shift your focus to your physical body. Specifically, I'd like you to focus on your feet. Without moving your feet, notice if you feel any sensations. Perhaps your feet are bare and you might feel the air cool or warm. You may have socks on or blanket over your feet. Perhaps you feel the sense of touch, of your feet touching a fabric or touching the ground. Notice if your feet are touching another part of your body. And then notice if you can feel any energy in your feet, any warmth, tingling, coolness, any kind of vibrations. Just focus intensely on your feet. Notice the top of your feet, any sensations in the top of your feet. You may find a difference in sensation between one foot and the other foot. Then move your attention to the bottom of your feet, starting with your heel. Any sensations in your heels. And move your focus to the arches of your feet. Any sensations there. Some people might not feel any sensations and that's okay too. The more that you practice this, the more you'll get in touch with different sensations that are there and occurring outside of your awareness. Then shift your focus to the balls of your feet. Any sensations in the balls of your feet. Then move your Focus to your toes. Start with your big toes. Go all the way through one by one, ending with your baby toes. Then take a moment and wiggle your toes. Wiggle both feet in any way that feels comfortable. And notice what that sensation feels like when you move your toes. Then shift your attention to your whole foot and wiggle your whole foot around. Maybe move your ankles, move your feet back and forth in whatever way that you want. Preferably still keep your eyes closed and focus on the sensations that you feel. When we open our eyes, we add in that visual field that can be distracting from picking up some of these finer sensations in your body. Just notice how your feet feel now while they're moving and then stop your feet from moving, quiet them and let them be still. Now notice if you can pick up any sensations in your feet. Now that you've woken them up a bit, you may be a bit more aware of warmth or coolness, tingling, aching, any kind of sensations. Then I'd like you to bring your hands to your feet. Place one hand on one foot and the other hand on the other foot in whatever way feels comfy to you. Could be your toes, could be your whole feet, one toe. 
whatever feels right for you right now. And I'd like you to take your hands and explore your feet as if your hands have never felt your feet before. So focus on the sensation of touch. Notice what your hands feel like touching your feet. Do they feel coolness or warmth from your feet? Do they feel smoothness or roughness? Let your hands explore the sensations in your feet and see what your hands feel when they're touching your feet. Then take a moment and reverse them. So notice how your feet feel when your hands are touching them. What sensations are your feet picking up from your hands? As your hands are touching them, do your feet enjoy being touched? Do your feet feel any warmth from your hands? or sweatiness. What is it like for your feet to be touched by your hands? Play around with different sensations, different movements. You could wiggle your toes while your hands are touching them. You could move your hands and hold your heels or your ankles. Just explore. Be curious and stay focused on the sense of touch. Notice where you feel the sense of touch more. Do you feel it more in your hands touching your feet? Or do you feel it more in your feet being touched by your hands? Just notice, be an observer. Maybe you feel your toenails. You can touch your feet with different parts of your hands, not just your fingers. You could rub the palms of your hands over your feet, the tops of your feet, the bottom of your feet. Experiment with some different touch sensations. There's no right or wrong, just observe, just notice what these sensations feel like. Do a quick check-in to see if your mind has pulled you away. Sometimes we have associations with experiences of touch or smell or visual, and they take us to memories and experiences, pleasant or unpleasant. But that's our mind drifting off. So bring it back if it's drifted off. Just notice where it went, just observe and focus again on touch. And then slowly bring your hands together and put your hands perhaps in your lap, on your legs, somewhere where your hands feel comfortable. And let your hands give each other a hug. Let them give each other a squeeze. It's especially important now with social distancing because one of the things we miss a lot is human touch, hugs, all those kind of things. So let your hands enjoy the sensation of touching each other, shaking each other's hands. And just feel what that sense of touch is like. Pleasant, unpleasant, neutral. Some people like to be touched. So we don't like to be touched. Just be aware of what your experience is. And I'd like you, again, with your eyes closed, to give yourself a hug. So wrap your arms with your hands. Just play around with that kind of hug so that your hands are grasping your upper arms. You can let your hands stroke your upper arms. 
Squeeze the muscles of your upper arms and feel that sensation of giving yourself a hug. It activates the same parts of your brain as if you were being hugged by someone else. And so that's an especially important thing when you feel physical distance from people. Allow yourself to give yourself a hug. And you're not just giving yourself a physical hug, you're giving yourself an emotional hug as well that has effects on your mind. So just feel when you're hugging yourself, where do you notice it the most? Do you feel it in your fingers, your hands, or the part of you that's being hugged? Notice if your arms are crossed. Do you feel warmth where your arms are crossing? And then open your arms up and do the reverse. Put the opposite arm on top and the opposite arm underneath. And play around with that. Notice what feels most comfortable. When we cross our arms one way, it's usually the way we're most familiar with. And when we try something that's not as familiar by doing it in the reverse, there's some novelty there. And the novelty helps to sustain our attention. When we get bored, our mind drifts very quickly. So keep your mind focused on the detail, the minute detail of the sense of touch. And then just release your hands and sit again in a position, whatever position feels comfy to you right now, where you can relax. And then if you have a candle, I'd like you to reach your candle and bring it in front of you. If you don't have a candle, then I would suggest that you focus on something that's fairly close by. Maybe something that's on the ground in front of you so you can open your eyes for this part because you can look at either your candle or an object or something that's in front of you. Something where you can gaze down a bit as you look at the object. A candle is a good one to sustain focus because of the factor that it's always moving. It's never the same. The wax is burning and melting. There's so many different colors in the flame, in the wax itself. Colors of the melted wax are quite different than the colors of the wax that's hard. Usually you'll see some difference in color from the outside of the candle through to the part where it's melted. If you're holding your candle or an object, notice it up close, move it around, study it, feel the weight of it. Notice if it's smooth or if it's bumpy, perhaps it has a shape. Just really look at this object or candle in great detail as if you had to describe it to someone who'd never seen it, what would it look like? And be careful with your candle if you are holding it, that you don't lose your focus and cause a difficult situation with hot wax. And if you're staring at an object that isn't moving like a candle, just notice what it's like to sustain your attention on it. Look at the colors, the texture, everything in great detail. And if your mind wanders, again, just notice that it's wandering because candles and different objects, again, bring all kinds of memories and associations that may not be unpleasant, 
But if you get lost in the memory and the experience, then you lose your focus on the present. So it's very easy with candles to drift to nice memories of candles. So just notice if that's happening. Bring your concentration back to the candle or the object in front of you. Another kind of object that works really well for visual focus is something in nature. Flowers like these flowers next to me here, orchids. And they have incredible complexity and colors. Even though these are white, when I look close at them, there's all kinds of colors. There's green, yellow, brown, all kinds of shades of white. So flowers and plants are something that are around in our environment. And if you're walking down the street, they say stop and smell the roses. Well, literally do it. Notice the plants. Reach down and smell the flowers. Notice the smells in the air. Notice the sounds of the birds around, or dogs barking, people talking. So you can use the world around you, the natural world, at any time to focus your attention on the complexity and the detail that will take you into this place of mindfulness. So meditation doesn't have to be that you set aside a formal time to sit and meditate. You can do it wherever you are for whatever time you have. You can be sitting in your living room doing something and then you wanna take five minutes to quiet your mind and you can look at something in front of you. Close your eyes, listen to sounds. You can use any kind of situation that stimulates sensations and you can bring yourself to that mindful place anywhere anytime and focus on your breath anywhere anytime even taking a couple of slow deep breaths where you pause and you breathe out really really slowly can just ground you in the present and bring that relaxation response to help you stay calm when we're calm, we don't get lost in stories. We don't get lost in thinking about the future when we're in the present. So you can practice it anytime, anywhere. So now I'd like you to close your eyes again, set your candle down or your object down somewhere safely. Close your eyes, focus on your breath for a moment. Just notice what it's doing and slow it down if you wish. I'd like you to, in your mind's eye, see what your experience is of picturing the candle or the object that you were studying. Some people can do this easily. Some people find it very difficult. Because with each sense that we have, we have a memory. So we have a visual, we have a visual memory. And some people have different strengths in their memories of sensations. So we can't assume that everybody will experience a picture in their mind's eye in the same way. So just notice, are you able to see that object in detail? Are you able to just get maybe a color or perhaps a shape? Or you may not be able to visualize anything at all and that's totally okay. Just observe. Notice your experience. What do you see, if anything, in your mind's eye? And keep your eyes closed. Deepen your breath. So slow breath in, 
pause and a really, really slow breath out through your nose. And then take another breath in and this time, we'll breathe out through your mouth and you can sigh it out. So breathe in, pause and then do that a couple of times and with each breath out, let your whole body melt. Let your whole body from the crown of your head to the tips of your fingers and toes Relax, feel at ease. Then I would like you to say to yourself some of the following words. May I be at peace. May I find calmness. May I be healthy. May I be kind to myself. May I be kind to others and the world around me. May I be happy. May I focus on the present and enjoy what's here and now. And remind yourself that at any time you can bring yourself into this place where you're focusing on the present and the worries drift away. Worries take us away from enjoying the peace of the present. Just take the last moment or so and breathe in, notice if you pick up any scent in the room around you. Do a quick check in and see how your whole body is feeling, how your body is as a whole. And then I'd like you to say to yourself, may I take this experience with me for whenever I need to come to this place in the present to feel relaxed with a calm mind and a calm spirit. So now I would encourage you to just wiggle your hands and wiggle your toes. Maybe move your head around, just bring yourself back to the room where you are. Notice the world around you, maybe blink your eyes a bit, stretch a little bit. And just remember that for the rest of your day or tomorrow or the next day, you can practice these ideas anywhere, anytime. Especially with social distancing, you may be going for walks to get out of the house. So do mindful walks. Start to pay attention to the beautiful world around you and all the detail, the smells, the visuals, reach out and touch the plants, listen to the wind, just be present to help calm your mind from all the worries that want to grab your attention. So take that calmness today and enjoy the rest of your day. And hopefully I'll see you again at another mindfulness meditation class through Santosha's website.